everyone today we are going to see about software bug or defect life cycle and bug report parameters this is very important concept because whenever you attend any software testing interview at least one of the question is from this area so we will look into these in detail in further slides first let us see about bug as we all know bug is nothing but an error or failure which causes the computer application or system to up behave abnormally so this is mainly due to human errors while writing source code or during the design itself there are a lot of examples one such example is login error for example if you have an application which you need to log in even though you are giving correct credentials it may not be able to log in due to any defect or bug this is one such example so let us now look into bug life cycle so whenever a tester reports a bug in the bug reporting tool the status of the bug will change from new to closed so the first status is new bug so whenever the software tester finds the bug he will report it in the software um, bug reporting tool and that status will be changed to new so uh, this may that means it is not approved yet so once the new bug is raised the team leader or the test lead verifies the genuinity of the bug and if it is valid then he will change the status from new to open so once the team lead changes the state to open the bug is assigned to the concerned developer team that time the status of the bug is changed now to assigned sometimes the tester itself have the authority to um, assign to that particular developer or the test manager or the development manager will assign the bug to the particular developer next we will see the status of the bug is test so once the developer fixes the bug he transfer that bug to the mm, testing team for next round of testing that is after fixing the bug and prior to releasing it back to the testing team the state of the bug is changed to test the next is deferred bug so when the bug is expected to be fixed in next releases the status will change it to deferred many factors will influence the bug to be in deferred states for example the priority of the bug may be low or lack of time for the release or the bug may not have their if major effect on the software during that time the development team or the management um, will um, actually um, move the status to deferred state the next one is rejected bug so when the developer finds that the bug is not genuine or if he is not able to reproduce uh, then he will reject the bug and stay change the status to rejected the next one will be duplicate bug so for example if a particular bug gets repeated more than once or that is um, reported more than once or if two bugs point towards the same concept then the status of one of the bug is changed to duplicate as we have previously seen once the developer fixes the issue the status will be test during that time the tester will verify that bug and check whether that bug is fixed in the release that has been mentioned in the developer that time mm, the tester will move that bug to verified but if the tester finds the bug is not fixed in the release that has been mentioned in, by the developer then he will reopen the bug and assign it to the developer that time he will change the status to reopened so the last one is closed bug once the bug is fixed and the tester confirms its absence he will change the status to mm, closed so this is the final state which implies that the bug is fixed tested and approved so now let us look into bug life cycle flow chart as we have seen in the previous slide the bug status starts from new and ends at closed so each and every bug has its own life cycle across which it passes through before getting closed it starts from new then to open then the it will be assigned to the developer so the developer will validates the bug and move either to uh, deferred duplicate or rejected or he will fix the issue and move to test the tester will verify the issue and he will reopen um, if the fix is not included and he will assign back to the developer 
or else uh, he will move the status to verified once the bug is fixed and the last status will be closed so these are some of the life cycles of uh, popular bugs so if it is a valid bug the status will be different and if it is invalid bug the status will be different so likewise each and every bug has its own life cycle which it has different status next we will see about defect tracking parameters these are some of the common parameters which you can find in any bug reporting tool these parameters mainly used to track the bug and also helps in um, identifying the bug information in more detail so first is the defect id this is nothing but bug id which gets generated automatically once the bug is reported in the bug reporting tool the next is priority that is how fast the um, developer team has to fix this issue that is being defined in priority severity how much impact does the bug causes in the software that is severity mostly the testers will um, uh, assign uh, high or low or medium according to the priority and severity of the bug mm. and the created by the tester name whoever is going to report that bug and the created date and assigned to the concerned developer team and um, the resolved date will be decided by the developer the resolved by the um, concerned developer name and the status will be as we have seen in the previous slide it will be either from new to closed according to the um, life cycle which it is passing and the project name the product name and the last one is the release version which is very important uh, um, because the tester has to specify which build he found that issue so these are the defect report parameters uh, wherein you can find more details about a particular bug the first one is defect title the title of the bug the second one is test data so if there is any input um, to reproduce that bug then you can mention it here in test data prerequisite if you want to set up any environment uh, um, for reproducing that bug then you can mention in the prerequisite and steps to reproduce like um, there are a lot of steps in order to reproduce that bug then expected result would be normal behavior actual result will be abnormal behavior which causes uh, the bug then last one the next one will be notes uh, if you want to add notes uh, extra information to the developer then you can put in here last one would be screenshot if you want to attach any error message or any screenshot of the um, application error that time you can add, attach that screenshot as i mentioned in the previous slides uh, uh, the interviewer might ask you to write a bug report by giving any sample uh, scenario or else uh, they will ask you to write any um, bug report based on your experience uh, that time you can in include all these uh, fields and write a bug report so here is one such example wherein the application is getting crashed while clicking the save button since the application is getting crashed the severity and priority is marked to high and assigned in assigned to the particular developer and reported by your name and reported on the date and the reason is defect and you have to mention the build number also correctly since the status is reported um, this is the first time you are reporting the bug the status will be new and the environment and the description of the bug in detail and steps to reproduce here the, um, the we have given some seven steps in order to reproduce that bug so the expected result would be the new user has to be created successfully but the actual report that sorry the actual result is application crash so if there is any error message or application screen crash screen got you can attach it to the bug this helps uh, for the developers in order to fix the issue quickly and also easily so thank you so much for listening and if you want to hear further more about um, software testing concepts uh, you can subscribe to our channel we people thank you